It's been a while since we've had some football on this channel, you know. We've done PlayStation stuff, the no touch fin, all that kind of shit, but not much for a while. And hey, we're a few weeks into the new season, there's a new FIFA on the way, plenty to talk about. <laughs> Sod all that, I want to have a look at some of my favourite arcade footy games. These are mostly all ones that I loved to play back in the day, as well as one that's kind of amusingly crap, and there's something quite funky and charming about all of them. I still file them up pretty damn often, so hey, maybe you'll like them. Here goes. Now, a look at arcade footy games wouldn't be complete at all without super sidekicks. Everyone's got their big SNK favourites, whether it's Metal Slug or King of Fighters or whatever. But honestly, I've probably played Lee's games more than any other, especially the original. As with basically all of these games, you choose an international team to play as, and you get easy enough two-button controls. One button passes, another shoots. Sometimes fins get a bit more complex as time passes, but that's generally the way of fins. What I like about Super Sidekicks is that it's all about getting the ball to the ace on the team, usually someone who's got a different look about them, one's a lot faster, and is definitely likeliest to get the ball into the goal. They all play so fast, and you can charge the hell out of the opponents. I mean, what's not to like? It can be a bit of a coin muncher mind. One thing about this game is that the keeper almost never seems to hold onto the ball, so goals happen pretty damn often and the best thing to do defence-wise is just to score more than the opponent. If you can get a good ball into the box, then that's very possible. And there's some really awesome sprite work in this one too, it's a real good game. So the original Super Sidekicks is the one I've played the most just because it seemed to be in every arcade around where I lived, but the best in the series would probably be Super Sidekicks 2. Everything about the originals here, but so much more has been added. You've got a much better camera angle, you've still got the aces on the pitch, but you can also select how your team plays, which is pretty nice. This game also features two awesome features that I wish more games implemented. First off, you've got the chance option in certain areas of the pitch, which allows you to quickly set up a long shot. It's kind of hard to score these, but really damn satisfying if they do go in. And the second is the penalties, which I absolutely love. Instead of the usual look, you get an extreme close-up of the ball as it flies from your foot into the net. I think it looks awesome, and it's a shame that no other game did it. This is one glorious 100 Meg SNK Neo Geo-tastic feast of football, and an absolute must-play for me whenever I was in the arcades. Well worth checking out. Sticking with SNK, we move to something that's not traditional football, but still a much-loved game. Soccer Brawl. This is a futuristic version of football. Suddenly, because it's the future and all, everyone's dressed in robo-suits, there's no more walls to speak of aside from getting the ball in the net, and there's a lot of violence. Everyone's got blasters on their arms, meaning that you can stop an opponent with a well-aimed burst of energy. Soccer ball is all about using the angles to get some nice deflection going on, and maximising the power bar, not just for the blasts, but to really put some oomph on your shot. And this is especially true if your ace gets the ball. That'll unleash an absolutely ludicrous pile driver that, more often than not, takes both the ball and the goalie into the net. Very satisfying. There's also a lot of aerial play. You can jump up and pick the ball out of the air, and then unleash a volley or a bicycle kick, which is great for close-up goals. Not many people talk about this game, but it's very fun and very brutal. A very nice addition to the future sports subgenre. Ah, Football Champ by Taito, released in 1990. This is a game that I've put a hell of a lot of 20p's in over years. Hell, it's one of the few arcade games that I've actually beaten in an arcade, which certainly didn't happen all that often. At first glance, Football Champ may not look all that different to all the other horizontal football games out there, but it's actually my favourite arcade football game. I love it. First off, the whole package has so much charm. It's full of great little touches. I love the picture-in-picture picture of the managers as you kick off and score goals, normally with one being very happy and the other getting ever more disconsolate. Little things like the flick of a corner flag or knocking down a photographer also go a long way. There's the wonderful foul mechanic. Sure, you can just tackle someone normally, but you could also jump up and knee them directly in the face. There's the brilliant voice effects. Welcome, kick off. Nice fight! Oh, fine play! Lovely. 
And of course, there's the almighty fat balding ref who waddles up and down the pitch, trying to keep an eye on the action. If he sees you doing those big knees or whatever, you'll probably get a card, but he usually gets knocked down by a player or the ball. In which case, feel free to knee, punch and tug shirts to your heart's content. Aside from all that, the football in this game is really fun too. Over the years, I have kind of gotten it down to a bit of a science. It's all about the lobs as opposed to trying to shoot on goal normally. Get those long balls up the field in a diagonal fashion and try to get to that one little sweet spot just on the edge of the area. If you get it, then you can do the most satisfying diagonal chip right over the keeper and into goal. So good. Other than that, it's a good way to get rebounds and the like for headers, bicycle kicks and all sorts. There's also the incredibly rare super shots, but you don't see those very often, if at all. Football Champ is a sweet as hell game, one of my footy favourites. Everything about it is fantastic. Annoyingly, we only ever got the one Football Champ game over here in the UK. However, in Japan, where the series is known as Hattrick Hero, they did get a couple more, so it's a good idea to show off one of the sequels, in this case Hattrick Hero 93. This is much like Super Sidekicks 2 in that the good gameplay is still retained, but lots of cool improvements are here. There's the better camera and the ability to use a couple of power-ups like super dashes or big sliding tackles. You can even spear your opponents now. It's a lot harder to do the diagonal lob, mind you. However, there are a couple of cool things here. I did actually manage to capture a super shot and it put the goalkeeper into the freaking ground. On the other side of things though, well... This is the worst penalty I have ever, ever shot in any football game ever. I guess I just didn't get how the PK system worked, I suppose. Still, this game was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. I'd still go for Football Champ as my favourite, but it's a real surprise that we didn't get this very good game indeed over here in the UK. At least, not officially. Tecmo are probably most famous in the area of football for the somewhat pioneering Tekan World Cup, a game that I looked at many years ago now because it's a big part of the foundation for both kickoff and sensible soccer, one of the first really serious top-down footy games. It'd also be silly of me not to mention SNK's classic fighting soccer as another big touchstone. Still, both games were a little before my time. So instead, let's talk about Tecmo's much less influential, but still rather fun to me, World Cup 90. It's probably fair to say that this game is a hell of a lot like Football Champ. It's strikingly similar in many ways, although that's more to do with horizontal footy just being the style of the time. That's why all these games are horizontal footy, basically. The same tactics that are used in Football Champ seem to work fairly well here too. Diagonal long balls up the field, get one of them in the area, and then hopefully get an aerial goal. Still all that said, I kinda dig it. There's nothing special whatsoever about the presentation, nor too much special about the gameplay, and yet, I don't know, it's weird. Whenever I think of old arcade footy games, this one, as unmemorable as it is, springs to mind. I don't know, maybe it's to do with the classic Tecmo style cabinet it often came on? Who knows, but it's a game that sticks in the mind. Who knows why? Probably the most average game I've ever reviewed. And now, a football game that stands out more for weird reasons. Backstreet Soccer. This is an obscure one. I've only ever played it on MAME, and I'm pretty sure it has its origins in South Korea. But anyway, it's street football. I always want a good street football style game, but they so rarely come around. This one is quite amusing to me in lots of ways, but it's kind of far from good. It's not terrible, it's just weird. First up, you know you're dealing with something not far from the bootleg world when the soundtrack is poorly constructed loops from mainstream rap songs, Will Smith and all that, usually accompanied by a lot of hilarious voice samples. The gameplay itself is mostly okay, as with most games like this, there's lots of fun to be had from bouncing the ball off the walls. Even more so here, as it's probably the best way to score. This mainly has to do with the goalkeepers being absolutely atrocious. Seriously, I'll have hit the ball from the halfway line, it'll be trickling towards them, and they just dive out the way of it. They are the worst keepers ever. Aside from that, there's special shots, all that other stuff. And one other really odd thing. When you score two goals or more, it gives you a bonus. A time bonus. Ten extra seconds on the game. 
Why the hell would I want this when I'm leading? A bonus would be to take those 10 seconds off. Bastards. And that's usually enough time for the computer to go ahead and get the equaliser too. Ugh, this is a strange little game. Memorable, but fully doesn't get much weirder than this. And finally, we're going 3D. Now I'd been hanging around the arcades for many years, and I remember being pretty well impressed when, around 95-96, the new kids started appearing on the block. Look at all the 3D games that are suddenly around. And Sega's Virtua Striker, honestly, was one of the most impressive. It had a big freaking screen most of the time for a start, it had proper TV-like presentation and shit like that. I believe Virtua Striker 2 even showed the top 5 goals scored that day in its tracked mode, which was quite awesome. Alas, I can't play that one yet, but I can play the original game using a Model 2 emulator. Looking at it now, you know it's not amazing or anything, the controls are incredibly digital and not the most responsive ever, I mean ISS Pro List is not, and yet I still get a kick out of it. I love the presentation, how the camera gets right close in when players are going on a run to the area, a dynamic to the camera angles that you just don't find in footy games anymore when you're playing, how the power bar makes some really killer goals possible as opposed to the usual 10 yard scramble you find in arcade games. There's still a load of stuff that's real fun about this one, and it was the first 3D footy game that I played to boot. It may have been a bit better in the mind than it was actually playing it again for the first time in years, but it's still very good. And so there we go, a bunch of arcade football classics, great games to stick a 20p, 50p in or whatever and blast away at for a few minutes. Unless they're football champ of course, in which case you might want to bring a few quid for the long haul. There's certainly more of these out there that I used to love back in the day and who knows, maybe they'll make up another video. Or, you know, we can move to other platforms perhaps. In any case it's nice to chill out and do some good old fashioned football. It's what's on the television after all. Bye for now. For this video I would like to thank the following. Adam Schaefer, Andrew Dalton, Andy Catt, Audi Sawley, Carly, Conformist, Daniel David Taylor, Dustin Cooper, Gary Pinkett, George Newton, Ghostly Spectre, Graf and Blackpool, James Id, James Loveridge, Jason Durso, Jason Goy, Jason Leach, Jason Stevens, Johan Eriksson, Josh Jensen, Ello Bryan, Lee Norris, ManagerSim.net, Mark Heslop, Mark Johnston, Mark Whittington, Martin Pataki, Lynette McCrone, Olaf Albeen, Pete Morris, Peter Jack, Peter Sidorn, Phil Taprog, Rachel Maxwell, Romeo, Ryan Wyatt Coleman, Sammy Lee, Seth Robinson, Simon Gulliver, Taylor Armand, The Unnatural, Tanyo J, Twisted Squote, V Shardee, Yurka Operator, and Zach Roach.